Hello, I'm Peter Starr, producer of the multi-award-winning movie Take It to the Limit. On Thursday, December 2nd, I'll be showing the complete director's cut, restored copy from the original negative of that movie at SoCal Motorcycles, 515 West Lambert Road in Brea, 92821. The movie stars some of the greatest racers ever to throw a leg over a motorcycle. Kenny Roberts, Barry Sheen, Mike Harewood, Steve Baker, Bruce Penhall, Russ Collins, Roger DaCosta, Marty Smith, amongst others. Here's a taste of what you'll get to see. Take it to the limits. Winner of the Gold Award at the Chicago International Film Festival and the Silver Award at the Houston International Film Festival, Take It to the Limit looks at the pinnacle of extreme sports at a time before the term extreme sports had been invented. This film set the standard for motorcycle films with some of the most exciting footage ever shot of some of the world's greatest riders. See three-time world champion Kenny Roberts win the 1975 Indy Mile on a TZ700 powered dirt tracker. Ride the wild one quarter mile with Russ Collins on his 600 horsepower twin engine sorcerer. Travel with America's first ever road racing world champion, Steve Baker, as he faces off against Agostini, Reed, Grant, and two time world champion, Barry Sheen, in the race of the year. Ride the treacherous 37 and three quarter mile Isle of Man circuit with nine time world champion, Mike the Bike Halewood. See Mike Bast win his second National Speedway Championship in a fast battle with Bruce Penhall. The World of Motorcycles Sport at the Limit, starring Kenny Roberts, Mike Halewood, Barry Sheen, Steve Baker, Mick Andrews, Roger DeCuster, Marty Smith, Russ Collins, Mike Bast, Bruce Penhall, Scott Autry, and a cast of thousands. Music by Foreigner, Jean-Luc Ponty, Tangerine Dream, Arlo Guthrie, and John McEwen in Dolby Stereo. Daily Variety said, Star is generally recognized as the top producer of motorcycle picks in the world. The Hollywood Reporter said, Outstanding photography captures the challenge, excitement, and beauty of motorcycle racing. Box Office Magazine said, For a documentary on motorcycle racing, Take It to the Limit has remarkable wide appeal. The imaginative use of helmet-mounted cameras and slow-motion photography involves the audience. Sometimes it becomes outright frightening. Film and Video Monthly said, Star has transformed his film beyond the documentary level by skillful use of racer point-of-view camera techniques combined with a sophisticated use of music tracks. St. Petersburg Times said, If you race motorcycles or envy those that do, Take It to the Limit ought not to be missed. Alan Cathcart said, Take It to the Limit shows me stuff I'd only read about before, like Robert's TZ700 flat tracker, as well as providing a reminder of just how thrilling the racing really was with the likes of Steve Baker and Barry Sheen back in the late 70s. It is a must-see memorial to one of motorcycle sports' golden ages. Paul Blazard, freelance motorcycle journalist, said, For anyone who grew up with motorcycles in the 1970s, this extraordinary film will be almost overcome with waves of nostalgia, admiration, and downright heart-in-your-mouth fear from watching the best riders of that decade take it to the limit in every branch of motorcycle sport. If you get a chance to see it, don't miss it. Take It to the Limit gives you the opportunity to relive some of the greatest moments in motorcycle racing history, or perhaps your first opportunity to experience the magic of a golden era of motorcycle racing. Join me on December 2nd at SoCal Motorcycles, 515 West Lambert in Brea at 7 p.m. for a night at the movies and a book signing.